Hello class, this is section 4.2 and we are going to go through an initial value problem that uses elimination. So this is our system and the first thing we want to do is we want to write x in terms of y and we take this second equation to write x equals y prime over 2 minus y over 2 Taking the derivative of that, we find that x prime is equal to y double prime over 2 minus y prime over 2. And we can substitute this all in to the first equation. So taking this one, we have that um, might need more space, but let's give it a try anyway. Prime over 2, that's the x prime, it comes from here. Minus equals to negative 3 y prime over 2 minus y over 2, and that of course comes from here. Oops, wrong color. and we have a minus 4y as well of this equation. And we can r simplify this equation into a second order linear homogeneous equation. So we have y prime over 2 plus 3 halves minus 1 half y prime plus 3 over 2, I'm sorry, this is going to be minus 3 over 2, plus 4 times y equals 0. Simplifying it a little bit, we have that it's half y double prime plus y prime plus 5 over 2y equals 0. Multiply both sides by 2, so we have y double prime plus 2y prime plus 5y equals 0. Now make the usual substitution, y equals ERT, and what we get is that r squared plus 2r plus 5 times ERT equals 0. So we need this quadratic equation to be 0, and we use our quadratic formula to find that r equals minus 2 plus minus 2 squared minus 4, 1, 5 over 2, which is just, just going to be minus 2 plus minus minus 16 over 2, or minus 1 plus minus 2i. And this means that we have our general solution y equals e minus 1t times a cosine 2t plus b sine 2t. And this will be our general solution for y. To find a general solution for x, we have to take the derivative of y first. We're going to use this equation to solve for x. So first we have to find y prime. And let's be a bit careful with this. So we write y as a e i t cosine 2t plus b e i minus t sine 2t y prime. So we're going to have to do the product rule on both terms here. First, the, the a term. So it's going to be a. The derivative of e minus t is going to be minus eit cosine 2t. So that's uh, the first term. And still, still using the a term plus a, leaving e constant but differentiating cosine. We get minus 2 sine 
2t, because we were differentiating cosine 2t. Now we look at the b terms, we also use the product rule here, plus b, the derivative of e minus t is minus e i t minus t, and the sine stays the same, plus b, we leave the e minus t this time, but take the derivative of sine 2t, which is this going to be 2 cosine 2t. So we have y and we have y prime, and we know from this equation that x equals y prime minus y over 2. Now we have to collect our terms very carefully. So every term in y prime has an e minus t, so we'll just take that out. The over 2 comes from here. And let's separate out the cosines and the sines. So we have a uh, minus a here and uh, 2b over here. That's minus a plus 2b, so it's a big bracket, times cosine 2t. And the sine term is just going to be a minus 2a there, minus a b here, sine 2t. That's for the y prime term. Let's look at the y over 2 term. So we have, again, every term in y has an e minus t in it, so we can just take that out. The over 2 comes from there. And we have just a cosine 2t plus b sine 2t. Well and good. Oh, sorry, this is not an equal sign. This is a minus. Sorry for the confusion there. But anyway, we uh, go on. And we have x equals, this time collecting all the terms at once, we're going to have cosines minus a cosine here. So we have minus 2a minus 2b cosine of 2t plus a minus 2a minus b no sorry minus a minus 2a minus b this is going to be plus of um, sorry minus a plus b to be here this is going to be plus minus 2a minus 2b sine 2t this just simplifies, of course, to e minus t minus a plus b cosine 2t plus minus a minus b sine 2t, eliminating the one-half term over there. So there you have it. We have our general solution for x, and we have a general solution for y. All that remains is to plug in initial conditions. And I think um, we're all pretty well versed with that already. So let's look at what our initial conditions are. t equals 0, y equals 3, x equals minus 1. So initial conditions. OK, I'll just write down. This is a general solution. This is also a general solution. But anyway. Um, Initial conditions are t equals 0, y equals 3, x equals minus 1. So let's see. So t equals 0, y equals 3 just gets us that all the e minus t's become 1. So y equals 3, t is 0, cosine 0 is 1, the sine of 0 is 0. So t equals 0, y equals 3 implies that y equals a. So that's going to be a equals 3. That's our first version of our initial, of our special solution. And that we can just plug in the second one too. And that's just going to be x equals minus 1. The e minus t becomes 1. So that's just minus 3 plus b cosine of 0 is 1. Sine of 0 is nothing, so that disappears too. So b must be equal to 2. And we just plug those in into our general solutions and we're done.